hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jocelyn warmly jocelyn and thank you so much for joining me here for another video thanks to y'all who come back week over week and just tap in with me and tune in with me it is greatly greatly appreciated you could be anywhere watching any video on this internet because we know there is no shortage of that i am just so grateful for that and i just want to let you know that that does not go unnoticed make sure to comment like and subscribe and i'm just so happy that y'all are here today so i hope you enjoyed today's video okay friends as you can tell from the title of this video we are going to be talking about a shy girl's guide to becoming a little bit more personable and extroverted and we're all we've all experienced just like a twinge of being shy whether we are the new person in a group or just standing awkwardly at an event or a party with no one to talk to or anyone to connect with and we just kind of miss every shot we don't take when we are in our shy girl vibe and i am no stranger to being shy i believe it or not have been shy for most of my life and it wasn't until i started adapting some of these tools that I'm going to share with you today that help me become a little bit more personable, more extroverted, even if I was faking it until I made it. So if you're anything like that or can relate to that, definitely this is the video for you. So let's talk about where shyness comes from. Now that can be a lack of confidence, right? Like at the core, it could just be like, what if I say something stupid? What if people, if I get rejected? What if, you know, uh, it's not reciprocated? That is just simply a lack of confidence, just a lack of confidence of the space that you're taking up, what you have to say, being confident in what you can, can contribute to a room or a conversation. So that's just, it can come from just a lack of confidence. It also can come from not having the space to be heard. Now, depending on how you grew up or your family structure or where you fall in birth order, I know that sometimes middle children can feel like they're not being heard. Or if you just grew up in a super, super big family, you can feel like, hey, I haven't was never heard or if you're the youngest or you know whatever fill fill in what's applicable to you but some of our households were not conducive for being heard there was not space for us to be heard in the same breath why you could be struggling with being shy is you could have been conditioned that way if you come from the from the school of kids should be seen not heard speak when spoken to say in a child's place that kind of rhetoric if that was present around around the adults you were brought up around or a tough belief that you have not disconnected from and that's why it is so important to assess your beliefs as an adult to assess does this serve me is this something that I can let go of and I think that one of the things of like kids should be seen and not heard first of all I don't even know what that means but I do know that that is something that have has been told to some of us so it's like really go through all of your beliefs and go through everything that you have been conditioned and really just start to peel back and question does this resonate is this true and does this even make sense for me but why it's so important to unlearn some of these beliefs is because it can be harmful to our self-esteem as adults and also threaten our self-efficacy so if you are able to really understand what is serving you and what is not you ultimately really will be better for it something else that i want to highlight is that being shy should not be confused with being introverted introverts and i consider myself an ambervert like i can i can fully live in both spaces of being introverted and extroverted um but i think that introverts are more so enjoy their own company 
introverts can recharge with their own energy, right? That does not mean that introvert introverts are shy or lack confidence. I want to help you with tools to bring out your personable skills, that, that quality of you that is only you, that you are hiding for a select few, that part of you that just has not come out, that we haven't seen yet, that we actually need. We need you to come as your full self. We need people like you. And by you, I mean people that have value, people who um, have that light and that and that thing about them. I, I find that in most shy people, they're honestly like some of the coolest people that I have met because I think shy people are great observers. Shy people have a great like listening, they listen. I also want to back up for a second and let you know why this is so important, why this topic is so important. It's because I read a recent study that said that extroverted people make more money and they are more likely to be put in leadership roles. Like, and on this channel, friends, in the Warmly Jocelyn audience, I am all about giving you tools to live your best life and become the best version of yourself. And part of that, like it or not, it's socialization, is about being personable, is about connecting with people. I really feel like in this digital age, that is going to be a lost art. It's going to be something that is highly, highly like rare, I feel like, just being able to connect with people. So let's get into these tips. My first tip is to start small. Start, just start small. Don't, I'm not suggesting that you go into a, I don't know, thousand person conference and just start talking people up. Start small with just maybe your coworkers and maybe speaking and when you normally don't. So I'd say start in small settings. If people ever ask, do you have any questions? Maybe use that time to ask a question. Starting small can be a really nice way of exercising your voice hearing what you have to say, letting other people know that I am comfortable taking up space. I would also say for my second point is to play off your strengths. All of us have strengths. What are yours? Is it that you have great ideas? Is it that you're creative? Is it that you are really good at encouraging people? Understand your why for wanting to be more personable. Is it to work your way up to speak publicly? Is it to build your self-esteem? Is it just a goal that you have? Is it, you know, like figure out what your goal is for wanting to become more personable so that it can, you can have something that drives you. Um, because if you're just doing it because you feel like you should, it's not gonna last. So really understand what is it for you that is making you want to become more of a people person that makes you want to become more um, connected with others. And on the piggybacking off of that is being genuine with your extrovertedness. Sometimes people um, just want to be liked and it's not really sincere, it's not genuine for why you're wanting to connect with people. Some of it could be transactional. I wanna connect with this person because that they can get me something. That's not really genuine. So I think that understanding the sincerity and being authentic with your connection and being personable, I'll tell you, people love to talk about themselves. So if you really are interested in connecting with someone, first learn about them. Like, get interested and curious about them and their background and points of relation that you all have or shared interests that you all have before you're asking for anything. So just lead with sincerity and lead with authenticity. Number five, which is a given, is put your phone down. Like, put it down, be centered, be present, especially when you're in certain rooms when you know that 
there are a lot of people to meet, that there, there's a lot that you can learn from. It's easy to kind of just occupy ourselves and this is like a, it's like a scapegoat. Our phone is like a, a, a protection, like, oh, I'm busy, don't talk to me. But it's actually like, no, put your phone down, be open, be welcoming, exude that energy of I want to connect. When you are like closed off like this, it's like, who's connecting with that? Whereas if you are like, hi, yes, nice to meet you. My name is so-and-so, how are you? Oh my God, how's your day going? It's all in the, you know what I mean? It's all in the like, you are my only interest and in, in my scope right now. Like put the devices down, like let's connect. You know, for the sixth point, this is practice. It's like practice makes perfect. Continue to put yourself in situations where you can connect with people, Con continue to, um, dismantle beliefs that no longer serve you. Continue to understand your why. Be genuine, be authentic, right? Start small, keep practicing these things because after time goes by, you'll be like, oh, <laughs> who was shy? And like, you know what I mean? Like those days will be behind you. So continue to like lean in to the practice of it all like because it's going to take time it's a muscle I feel like being extroverted and being personable and knowing how to be conversational that is a skill like it is a skill that has to continue to be worked and flexed and, and, and it has to be put into practice so practice makes perfect and even if it ain't perfect it's 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 further than what you were before right so a win is a win a win is a win and for my last and final point, which I think is probably the most important point, is to love yourself through it and accept yourself. You don't have to be somebody that you're not in order to be personable or to be extroverted. Lean more into who you are because being shy is not an identity. It's something that is like you just tacked on to, right? Like it's not, it's not an identity. So let go of that, lean into who you are and who you truly are, and let people see that part. Let people see the, the truest part of you, right? Because that's who you were created to be. That's what can be blessed. God can't bless who you pretend to be. So it's like, be who you are supposed to be and let that shine. Be confident in who you are and your abilities and your contribution because it's needed. Don't let negative self-talk and your inner critic tell you that you have nothing to contribute or that no one wants to hear what you have to say because that is the furthest thing from the truth and it is a lie and you don't have to believe lies because they're lies. I hope that these tips will help you to step into your most truest self and letting yourself just shine, just shine. Too much are we like monitoring ourselves and hiding parts of ourselves that are so valuable, that are so valuable. So continue to just let yourself be and stop criticizing so much of who you are and overthinking and like chewing on and mulling over things that are lies because you, my friend, we got to see you shine. Um, so thank you so much, friends, for tuning in. I will see you all next week. Drop a comment on what has helped you overcome your shyness. Uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And I will see y'all on my next video. Bye.